haven't even introduced anyone. Mark Sullivan Vernon Wally Sr., joined by LZ Lee Granderson, George Sedano in the house, and yada da mean El Hassan. I'm so glad to be here for the last episode of Sports Nation ever. Oh, really? <laughs> is that it? This is, a, this is quite a moment. Yes. All, right. All right. All right, let's get it started on Rhythm Nation. Uh, let's get it cracking with Going Places, presented by Toyota. First up, Jurassic Fail. Oh, wow. Oh. Really? That doesn't Last make sense. night, LeBron was running he through the six with his woes on the way to stealing game one from the Raptors. LeBron said he played poorly, but he messed around and got a triple-double. I see you. Mm. And the Raptors, well, they gave up the yams and even missed 16 of their final 19 shots to end the game. Yada da mean. BPI yeah. still gives the Raptors 71% chance to win the game. Mm. So like are we bits? win the series? Yeah, are we overreacting to game one? Look. My logical basketball brain says yes. Look, they're the better team. They're deeper. They're very well coached. They're elite offensively and defensively. All year long, they've shown us that if you give them enough time, they'll figure it out. But, man, hmm. if it were any other opponent, I'd be like, no questions asked. Of course we're overreacting. But it's just because it's Cleveland, and they have this right. Cleveland mental block. Brick, I mean, man. The, the, the brick. Trust the devil on your shoulder. I mean, this team missed five uh, shots in seven seconds, the Raptors. That's a devil. They, have a, they have a mental block when it comes to LeBron, <laughs> who, by the way, he shot 12 of 30. That ain't going to happen again. Uh, and here's the other aspect. But here's the other aspect of it. <clears throat> Role players generally tend to play better at that home, works. and they balled in Toronto. So yeah. this thing is a wrap. They didn't all I mean, ball. I'm not ready to say it's a wrap, but I will say this. Yesterday, I thought game was most important for the Cavs because of the role players. And you should prove that they were valuable and it wasn't all about LeBron. LeBron was not Superman, he was Batman, but the other guys all stepped up. Now Toronto has two opponents. They got the Cavs and they have the Demons. Mm -hmm. The Demons are what you're talking yep. about. Mm -hmm. All those losses over the last three seasons to this one team, now those doubts start creeping in. They start looking at each other, looking at Van Vliet like, dude, why you missed all them open shots? <laughs> and they're like, why am I taking them open shots? You're the all-star. Right. So, I mean, those sort of looks are going to be happening. I'm glad you guys are highlighting the mental play because I thought this series was over before they even stepped on the court. Really? Because between the ears, they did not believe in themselves because of the last two times in the playoffs. How, do you, wait, how do you know? It's because this is the same old episode that we've seen time and time again. Now let's go to the purest first sport, track and field. Oh, yeah. always oh, it is. Are. Damn it, the first thing the, the person did was run. Okay, so that here was we go. not the first. <laughs> well, that wasn't uh, all right. Second thing. Okay. Right. But here's the thing. There's a term <laughs> in track and field ever. called psyched out. Yeah. It's a real term where no one could get in your lane, no one could physically contact you, but you still don't perform to your best because you're psyched out. When you're in lane five and you saying boats in lane four, you're psyched out. That's what the Raptors are. As soon as they see the colors of the Cavs coming, Psyched out. Yep. Mm. Let's move on. That esco escalated quickly. And uh, Draymond Green, Ray John Wando. Wando. Wando, Wando squared up after name. the first half last night. And Charles Barkley, he wanted some of that smoke. During halftime, Barkley reacted to the confrontation and said of Green, quote, I just want somebody to punch him in the face. After the game, Draymond terrible. responded. Terrible. <laughs> a lot of guys talk on TV, um, stand behind a microphone and TV screen. The fact of the matter is, if if you feel that strongly about something, he's seen me a million times. If you feel that strongly about it, then punch me in my face when you see me. If you're not going to punch me in my face when you see me, then shut up. It's no different than somebody sitting behind a computer screen tweeting, I'll knock you out and you never see him in life. Well, he's seen me a bunch of times and he'll see me again this year. Punch me in the face when you see me or if not, no one cares what you would have done. You old and it is what it is. So, if you ain't going to punch me when you see me, then stop talking about it. Period. Man, George, you got a problem with the Draymond, Charles Barkley feud? No, come on, man. This is on brand for both dudes, okay? Mm. I love Draymond. I wish my team had a Draymond. And I certainly love Charles Barkley, who comes on the radio show. That great radio show? Mornings with Keisha and George and LZ. Yeah, he comes on all the time with us. Oscars, Tony. Oh, yes, exactly. So uh, this is on brand. The messenger matters here. We know this is Chuck, and this is who he is, and he's an entertainer. And that show is entertaining. And Draymond needs this to fuel himself. That's who he is, too. Yeah, no, I mean, like, look, Charles says all types of outlandish things all the time. That's why he's the highest paid basketball analyst in the world. Yeah, my man, get your game up. I'm, I'm trying, <laughs> see? But I, what I was going to say, if I had said it, then, Say something. Well, if I would said Draymond would punch me in the face, right? Mm -hmm. And he should, because I haven't built a brand or a reputation like Charles has. Forget about his playing career. Guy's been broadcasting for almost 20 years. Right. This is how, who he is. So the idea that anyone would take what he says seriously is still kind of funny to me. I mean, 
to me, the whole mm. mystery was was done with once you saw Draymond Green and LeBron James sitting in the barbershop together laughing, yes. right? And when you saw that, you were like, going, well, wait a minute. All that yapping that was happening on the court, all that, you know, you ain't nothing, blah, 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 blah that was going on. Who are these people at the end know of the day, working? you know, they understand this is all just entertainment. Charles is being entertaining. Oh, Draymond God. Green is staying with who he has always been, though I do like the fact that he brought the fact that you're old. Because <laughs> the fact of the matter is, a lot of the old Damn, heads me have time. been taking shots at the Golden State Warriors because of their success. He brought that up again in a very sly way. You think differently? Oh, hell yeah, I think differently. I don't, uh, the whole, this is Chuck being Chuck, this Kanye being Kanye. No. Nah. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. What time are you on? No, no, no. Hey, 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 admit it, admit it. Hey, what's up there, father? Oh, oh, oh. I knew I would get a reaction out of that because y'all can see how stupid it sounds on its surface. You can't give passes out just because, oh, well, that's how you are. Here's the thing. What we do right now, there's an integrity to it. It's loosely based if you're more of an entertainer. I give you that. But there still is a respect for your private space. And your private space doesn't have to just be physical. It could be you talking just too much. You're going too far. We've seen it before as a player who used to be on the field and then translating over here. Respect the difference. And I think Charles Barkley stepped over that line because really you're not going to do the things you're talking about so why are you even talking about something? This is not the first time. Figure a speech. Yeah. I slapped the hell out of you. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. Let's move on to Don't the ever worst bring up that behavior. Name again on TV, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead to me. Fireworks between the Cavs and Raptors spilled off the court as Drake and Kendrick Perkins had beef. I didn't say Kendrick Lamar, I said Perkins. Mm -hmm. It started during the game while Drake was in courtside and continued into the tunnel after the game. Perkins sent a text message to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski yeah. discussing the incident saying this. What happened was I was talking to my old teammate Serge Ibaka. <laughs> walking into halftime telling him, we're about to win this game, and Drake butted in talking blank to me. Mm. So I said something back to him. Hmm. That LZ, sounds pleasant. LZ, you intrigued by Kendrick and the Drake beef? Let's see. Uh, no. Okay. I mean, it just, okay. it just isn't that interesting to me. Not because, after the Chuck beef. I no, mean, that's not I mean, the same. I mean, I mean, think about it. Drake has been running around yapping at people for, for a hot second. But we got legends who have been yapping at people. People like Spike Lee, mm. people like Rihanna. I want those kind of legends yapping at my players. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. I don't care about no exchanges happening with some dude in a suit walking mm. off court. I'm talking about the players who are actually sweating day in and day oh. out, going, <clears throat> going in and out with somebody. I don't know if you're going to say Drake ain't in that category. No, he's saying, he's saying Kendrick's not. Is that, is that, that's what you're saying. Kendrick's Kendrick. Kendrick. Oh, okay. I'm about Drake. to say He's don't not even that. playing. Okay. He's okay. not even playing. Yeah. Come on, well, I, I want I want Drake to chill only because I love his music and I want to make sure that he doesn't get himself in harm's way and he's yeah, making yeah, good yeah. music because I was in that maybe it was <laughs> last night was last night was bronze plan though personally but but here's the thing I, I wanted to chill he went at it with John Wall now John Wall didn't take him so serious no. but Kendrick is a different dude yo I'm just glad Kendrick reminded him he's a super size yeah. Uh, super size yeah. ninja, I believe yeah. is the term. Yeah, don't let that smooth taste fool you. Uh, Kendrick Perkins is a Te large Texas mammal, is very and, large and uh, you don't want that smoke. So, yeah. uh, Drake, where's Steven Jackson when we need him? It's three, it's three years time, y'all, and bad <laughs> news. Ooh, that was baseball. baseball. First year for Clay Kershaw. Baseball. <laughs> Dodgers, Diamondbacks, Kershaw. Uh, Come on, Clay. Say that. that throw the first oh, base. Oh, my. That's why they lost. This, this is your MVP? Yeah. What is he, one five? Yeah. This is your king? Is, is Clayton one of one, 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 one of his starts. He's, he's not one, one of five, but they're only one of his His numbers are better than that record. Thank yeah. ace. Yeah. Yeah. ERA is slipping, too. Two tears for Colin Moran. What? Oh, Irish man. Nationals. Come on, oh, go right through his leg. Get your glove down. It's all right. It's like game of 30. That's like third base 101. Hip, knees, ankles. They all got to flex. They all got to bend, brother. I'm just letting y'all know. That's a that's, that's a, a hit, that's that's a hit right there, by the way. Three cheers for Sabin Ulreich. Ulreich. Hands league soccer. Ulreich. No. 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 Hang is up the goal. He just came out of the game. Come on, ah. Come on up next. <laughs> the Thunder appear to be a mess, and General Manager Sam Presti says. He's disappointed in his team. What should the Thunder do now? We'll talk about it next. This is Sports Nation. Carmelo. We got yeah. a music budget now, huh? Mm. Sports Nation is presented by Toyota. Let's go places.